Lord, girls. I don't even know where to start. Um, oh, I just feel like he is just flooding me so much with, um, I don't know, stuff in his word, things that I'm reading, convictions. I've been doing lots of repenting. Um, but the cool thing is, it's like, you know, sometimes I can be so hard on myself and beat myself up. and But this, this I don't know, I, I'm just feeling convicted of so many things in these times of repentance and just saying, oh God, I agree, I agree with you, I do that, I repent. There's no condemnation. There is just such a sense of his mercy and his love and kind of like a cleaning house, like, I don't know, like he's picking me up and dusting me off and getting me ready for something and um, <clears throat> it's just been a real sweet, sweet time. This past weekend was just amazing. I listened to a bunch of teachings that just truly were life-changing. Um, it was on my face a lot. I just didn't even bother with makeup. It was, I was a mess. And I even continued that in into Monday, just, um, listening to his word and being in his word and praying and worshiping and, um, and, and don't, don't get me wrong. It's not like I have this ability to, like I said, hide away in a cave and worship God 24 seven. Um, it's in between being a mom. It's in between homeschooling. Um, the last two days I go in to blow dry my hair. I go to the gym and my hair is wet in a pony. And when I get home, we do school. Well, uh, two of my guys have to sit and read to me. So typically with one of them, I'll go in the bathroom and I'll set them on a bar stool and I'll blow dry my hair and they're reading and my hair is all in my face and I'm following along. And then when they're done, I usually will listen to um, a worship song. And I mean, I'm sitting there doing my hair, worshiping, um, bawling, a kid on a bar stool, another kid, you know, watching the, the my phone screen. Um, I've been on my knees in the bathroom instead of doing my hair. And so it's, again, it's not like, oh, Michelle gets to go away and have this wonderful time with God. It's like, no, he meets you right where you're at, ladies. When you turn your heart towards him or and he draws you, I mean, it's I don't even feel like I did anything. It's like he's drawn me and we, and we obey and turn our hearts toward him. He meets us right where we're at. And, um, it's, it's just been amazing. And like I said, I've just been really convicted about, um, how short time is, you know, here we were just doing our word girl, uh, word of the year party. And here it is almost the middle of February and time is just flying by. And I feel like we don't have time to mess around ladies. We don't have time to waste time. Um, to, to spend all these hours doing frivolous things and chasing frivolous things. Um, you know, I'm fortunate enough that I believe each one of my children know the Lord, but it's not good enough that they're just going to make it into heaven. I want them serving him with their whole heart. Um, everything in them. I want them seeking first the kingdom of God. Um, you know, praying for my husband and our marriage. It's like, you know, do I just take these things for granted? I listened to a teaching of a woman who um, is a missionary in Africa, and she, long story short, she was up all night praying that this one child would receive um, the ability to hear. Apparently, pe um, people who are deaf, they're, they're able to hear again when she prays for them. And she was up all night praying and just crying out to God and just sick to her stomach that this she was going to leave the country and this child was not going to be able to hear. And and just hearing her cry and the fervency in, in her voice, I was so convicted, like, oh my gosh, do I pray like that for my own children, my own husband, my own marriage, the people in my life? I was just so convicted. You know, we say, you know, we we have all these prayer requests and we are asking God and we're seeking God, but are we, are we really seeking him with our whole heart? Um, and this is not to heap condemnation on anybody. I'm just encouraging us, me especially, um, you know, we're reading through the gospel of Matthew right now. <clears throat> I hope you're enjoying that. Um, verse 13 of chapter 25, watch the, therefore for ye know, neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. We don't know, ladies. We don't know when he's coming back. We don't know when our last day is going to be on this earth. And how do I want to spend that last day? Um, <clears throat> I love a quote that I heard this weekend about, are we going to be known for 
more for, are we going to spend more time on our closet floor or more time on social media? Um, you know, who do we spend much time with? Where is our heart? Um, I think what, what we spend our time on shows what we love. And for me, I'm just extremely convicted of this. Anyway, I could go on and on and on. I just wanted to encourage you ladies to um, seek him, be in the word. Um, he's got much to show us. I want to share so much on his glory. Um, I've been studying Exodus 33 and loving that. So maybe I'll do that next time. But there's just so much that he is just pouring into me and... Um, I just feel like I could bust. He's so good and he's so merciful. And I just pray for you. I pray for whatever you're going through today, that um, you would see God's hand, that you would see his glory, which truly is nothing more than his mercy and his loving kindness and his goodness. I pray that his glory would pass before you today and that you would see it at every turn. Um, he's good, ladies. He's good. Uh, turn your hearts towards him, all right? Seek him. Seek first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things will be added to you, all right? Have a great day.